Hi and welcome back to our Dreamweaver tutorial. In this video we're going to go ahead and set up the drop down menus on our website. And if I go ahead and go to my completed project website here at manchestertemplate.info you can see how not all of my menu options but several of my menu items have drop downs on them. And these are very easy to do and like the other interactive features um, on our page, um, they do, it does require the use of some JavaScript and jQuery. Uh, but there are, again are a lot of JavaScript jQuery um, um, scripts out there that you can download um, to achieve this effect. Um, you just want to go ahead and search on Google for jQuery navigation menu and uh, you'll find a whole bunch of them. But again, the uh, tool that we're going to use to achieve our drop-down menus is in my framework. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize everything and come to my desktop here. And you can see there's my framework folder. I'll go ahead and open that up. Go into Timothy Framework as we've done several times. And then go into JS. Now before, we've always gone into the plugins folder. But here we're going to go into navigation. And we want simple menu, not simple menu 2, just simple menu. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and then I'm going to go ahead and close that window, go into my project folder and paste that resource in there. And now when I go back into uh, Dreamweaver you should see the simple menu folder. And again if you don't, like it isn't appearing for me here yet, I just click on the refresh option and that folder will appear. Now inside of the simple menu folder you've got a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder that has the necessary CSS and JavaScript files um, for our drop down menus. And we're going to go ahead and add these to the appropriate folder. So I'm going to drag simple menu.js into my JavaScript folder my JS folder and then I'm going to drag simple menu.css into my CSS folder. And then the only thing left in that folder is going to be this simple menu.html file which gives you an example of how to actually set up um, your navigation. So I'm going to go ahead now and open up my uh, template file. And again, the reason why I'm doing this in the template file is that I want those drop down menus to appear on every page in my website. So adding it to the template and then updating my site will add those drop down menus um, to all the pages in my site. And again, this is different from what we did in the previous video when we worked in our contact form and set up our validator script. In that case, we weren't working in the template because we didn't need those scripts to load on every single page. We just needed those scripts to load on the contact page. But again, in this case, we want the scripts to load on every page, so we're working in the uh, template file. And that's not too um, big a deal at this point. Um, you could have very easily put all of the contact validation scripting on the template and then just added the specific features onto the uh, uh, or the data validation attributes onto the uh, contact page. Um, but that would have meant just a little bit of unnecessary um, uh, loading on um, all of our pages. So um, simple rule of thumb, if you want something to appear or if you want to use something on every page in your site, put it on a template. If something is specific to a certain page in your website, go ahead and add that just to that particular page. So here I am inside of my um, uh, template file. And again, this requires jQuery, so I need to make sure that I'm loading jQuery and that that's set up and working um, correctly. The next thing that I need to do is I need to go ahead and load my simple menu script. And again, that's going to be, I'm just going to go ahead and place that down here. I'm going to go ahead and type in script. And the type again will be text JavaScript. And the source 
will be the simple menu.js file. And then I close that off and close my script. And then again, I need to create a link to the style sheet for my menus. So I'm going to go ahead and use the link tag, the href attribute. And I'm going to go ahead and link to my simple menu.css file there. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my other attributes as we've done for our other style sheets. So now we have that set up, I'll save it and update all of my pages. So now we've added the two script items here. The next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and actually create the structure for those drop downs. And again, that's very, very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and look at our completed version here. And you can see the first uh, welcome doesn't have a drop down, but about does. And there's actually four items, uh, company, mission, team members, and advertising underneath the about option. And the way you set these up is very simple. You can see here I'm in my simple menu.html file, the example that comes with this. And notice here we've got the about li item. But you're going to notice, unlike welcome, I don't close the li tag after my closing a tag. The li is still open at the end of that. And I'm actually going to embed another unordered list inside of that li tag for the about option. And you can see the closing li for this list item here is going to come after the closing ul for the drop down. So if I wanted to add these items to my template, I would simply scroll down find my top navigation area and there's my about menu item. I'm going to go ahead and click between the closing a tag and the closing li tag and just hit enter a couple times. And then I'm going to go ahead and paste that secondary ul into this item uh, or into this list item tag. And I haven't linked these to actual pages, but you can see the way this is actually going to um, work. And these, these list items here that are on the drop down, we do close the LI just like normal right after our closing A tag. It's only when you want to drop down that you need to go ahead and embed that. And we're going to do products and services as well. And I'm going to, instead of typing these out, I'm going to cheat here and just copy and paste these in. And you can have as many different menu options as you want on this drop down. In this case, I've just got four or on this last one, three, but you could have a dozen items um, in there as well. So I've gone ahead and added those drop downs. Now there's just a couple more things that we need to go ahead and do. If I go ahead and look at my sample item here, you're going to see that I have an ID on the UL and I have the, a class on the div for top nav. So whatever div your navigation is inside of, you need to place the class wrap into that div. So I'm going to go ahead and add that class there. And you need to add this ID to the UL that comes after that. And again, I'm going to save this. And then I'm going to update all the pages on my site and close. And now we're ready to go ahead and upload um, this and see if it's working. 
and again I didn't mention this earlier but I've mentioned this in a couple of other videos it's a good idea to come up to your related file section up here and click on your CSS and your JS and go ahead and um, see if those load um, correctly so now we're going to go ahead and uh, close that off and close this off I went ahead and deleted the form validator files earlier and I'm going to delete that simple menu folder because I just we don't need it anymore and then I'm going to go ahead and put this entire site and then I'll push all the new files and updates to my server and now I'm going to come in here to Chrome and here is our project website domain I'll refresh this site here and you can see the drop downs are now working now one thing that you're going to notice right off the back is that the amount of space in between this horizontal line here and the menu items is different than it is right here and you can go ahead and adjust that and make that whatever you want it to be um, you know however much or however little space uh, you want those items to uh, have in there and you're also going to see our uh, drop down here with the hover effects on the different text or menu options there and the background color all of that styling is actually in the simple menu .css file and you can see here um, all the different styles that go to um, building your um, menus the drop downs specifically the styles that affect those are down here under at group sub sub nav and this is where a lot of those features are and then you also have some styles up here and again working with things like um, padding and spacing and background colors um, should be uh, very familiar to you um, at this point um, in um, this series so we're not going to go um, into detail as far as how to um, work with that you know obviously if you want to change the height of the nav you know you could change it right here if you wanted to if you wanted to change um, the background color you change that right there and um, you know so on and so forth so let's go ahead now and correct the one problem that I see is really outstanding here and that's the spacing right here so let's go ahead and go back into Dreamweaver and we want to go ahead and open up the simple menu CSS file and the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to adjust the line height for our links and right now the line height is set at 50 pixels now you're going to change this depending upon your font size and again how your layout looks um, in my case I want to go ahead and reduce that from 50 to 30 and we'll go ahead and save that and I'm going to go ahead and put that and now we'll go ahead and now we can see that things look a little bit more um, properly spaced but we have a couple more things that we want to actually do you can see here when I go to my drop downs I've got a border underneath these links here so I need to go ahead and take that border off first to make this look correct so I'm going to go ahead and come in here and scroll down 
and you can see the there's the uh, whoops there's the style for the embedded UL inside of the nav element and I'm just going to go ahead and do border zero there and again upload this to my server and refresh the page and now we can take a look and we can see that that border is gone we can also see however these little menu or these sub menu items here look a lot more compressed than they did before and I might want to give myself a little bit of padding on this menu to space things out and again this entirely depends on um, how you want um, your uh, drop down to look I'm going to come back in here and here are my list items that again are inside of the nav ULLI and I'm going to go ahead and just say padding five pixels and zero and then we'll go ahead and upload that to the server and when I refresh my page you should see now we have just a little bit more space around our uh, menu items so they look a little bit better and again you can go into that CSS file um, and um, play with the settings for the background color the spacing and get it set up however um, you want it to um, appear so now we've got um, our drop down uh, menus created the next thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and add some of the tags that we need um, to put on our pages for um, search engine optimization and we're just going to talk about just some basics of doing um, that in the next video um, we do have a series on um, search engine optimization and how to get your website into Google and Bing and other search engines and again in the next video I will show you where to um, find uh, the rest of those videos as well as put some basic um, search engine um, tags on um, your website so it gets indexed as quickly as possible so I will see you in um, our next Dreamweaver tutorial.